The United States Senate just published a 130-page report about the dangers and threats of the white supremacist movement in the United States. I think one of the most troubling things that the report points out is that the Center for Strategic and International Studies points out, and they're quoted in this, that uh, right-wing extremists had carried out or plotted 267 attacks and caused 91 deaths in the last seven years, uh, basically since Donald Trump announced his candidacy. And more than a quarter of those attacks, nearly half the killings, have been perpetrated by white supremacists. Uh, a lot of this is being driven by something called the Great Replacement Theory. The, the, the fellow who murdered, uh, uh, as I recall, it was, what, 10 black people in Buffalo, New York, in that supermarket, was doing so specifically because he said the Great Replacement Theory had, had uh, flipped him out, that you know, black and brown people were replacing white people. And of course, this is a theory that has been endorsed by people like Tucker Carlson and J.D. Vance and Senator Ron Johnson. But uh, the thing that really troubled me, and, and the New York Times also uh, has pointed out that hate crimes against black Americans rose 46 percent between 2019 and 2020. And that would, you know, cross the period of the George Floyd protests. But the Senate no reports that uh, the FBI in recent years has changed how it categorizes domestic terrorism ideologies. This is, I'm quoting from the report. In 2017, the FBI created a new category of domestic terrorism ideology called black identity extremists, but has since terminated the use of this category. By 2019, the FBI combined all forms of racially motivated extremism, including the pre-existing category of white supremacist violence, into one category called racially motivated violent extremists. Now, here's the problem with this. You've got this massive number of white supremacist people who are literally killing people all across the United States on a regular basis. And then you've got this really tiny little fringe group of a few black people who are, uh, uh, what's the phrase, um, black identity extremists who might have killed one or two people. I, I don't recall any cases where black identity extremists committed a mass murder. There, there might be some. And the FBI used to have these as separate categories, so you could see, oh, hey, where do we have a problem? It's not with the black people, it's with the white people. It's with the white supremacists. It's the people following, you know, Donald Trump and Nick Fuentes and, and uh, Stephen Miller and people like that. But now that the FBI has combined these two, it makes it look like it's not just a white terrorism problem that America has. In fact, the Senate report, this, this is literally from, these, are, these words, are, this is word for word, verbatim from the Senate report, quote, this change obscures the full scope of white supremacist terrorist attacks, and it has prevented the federal government from accurately measuring domestic terrorism threats. You know, Again, like, you know, what's up with the FBI? I just don't get it. I, I am generally a big supporter of our federal uh, law enforcement agencies. I mean, I, you, you have to have law enforcement. You have to. You can't have a country that, that functions without, you know, competent law enforcement. But you also have to have reasonable, competent information. You've got to know, you know, where the real threats are and what they are.